In this video we're going to talk about Ultimate Challenge 5, so this is a hell of a lot more of a gauntlet than the rest of them. So I would recommend again using Wild Dancer. For the first guy, Yoshida Toshimaro, you need to uh, keep your distance away from his big attacks. They're relatively easy to dodge as long as you stay, keep your distance. It's a relatively not too wide room, but it's a long room, so make use of that. Um, but yeah, he goes into his electric mode. Not got too much health, which is convenient. But yeah, keep your distance. Try not to get hit too much. Try and get that uh, heat bar up. Getting that heat bar up is always useful for the next fight. So, a one bar there. Next guy is Tokugawa Yoshinobu. So this guy has a bit of a gimmick, as far as I remember. So the first sort of phase, you can start slashing. Slash away with uh, what's it called, Wild Dancer, and then he'll start doing the Kamehameha. Switch to Gunman at that point, start shooting. Switch back to Wild Dancer before he switches back to his sword. So it gets a bit more intense as the fight goes on. But uh, he starts throwing little kunai's at you, and you can get in a few hits whilst he's doing that. Just keep hitting him. Kamehameha comes out, gunman, bam 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 bam, switch to the wild dancer, dodge, and back to normal. Easy fight, really cool gimmick. I enjoyed that fight to be honest, and it's it's great when you learn it like as you're playing. That's a simple but uh, really cool fight. And you can finish him off with a uh, finishing move if you wish. Good fight. Next fight is Okado, uh, sorry, Okada Izo who isn't particularly difficult because you can just spam the frig out of him. <laughs> I was going to say something a little bit different there, but uh, we don't want to get banned out of the YouTube videos, although we're probably two minutes in and it wouldn't matter too much, but let's try and keep it PG if we can, despite slashing someone to pieces and them taking it, which is even more bizarre. But uh, yeah, he, he has a lot of moves where he's like zipping around you, but Probably one of the easier ones to get behind and you know dodge out of the way of in terms of enemies and that finisher was really useful. So probably avoided most of his attacks there, really good. On to the next, it's Akeyama Katsura Kagoro with his new fan glory. A little bit more health this guy, we need to get him into hit confirms. Bit of a wild jumper and a, a, a pusher forward, but nothing too complex. If you get those hit confirms, and if you hit a few times, dash to the side, and then get the hit confirm. Do the full combo. If you don't get the hit confirm, one, two, out of there. Just, just try and dodge as best you can. Some of the hits on this are just so ridiculous. So no damage on this is... I wouldn't say it was too hard, but it's just like... You get hit by those stray fucking hits, which are just really annoying. That did a hundred damage. That is preposterous. So now you're into the naked fight with large man. <laughs> large man in more than one way, clearly. Bang, kick to the face, as you do. I like how the uh, the steam follows you. Pretty magical. Whoever came up with this was having a great day, clearly. But yeah, I think the tactic here is just to get behind, no pun intended, and uh, avoid any hits and uh, hit as best you can. But he does a lot of damage for uh, for what he is. There's a lot of damage. Look at that, 103, 103, 104. I've gone for a Kamaki. What was that? That was a tiger drop. I thought that was a Kamaki Barry. It was a tiger drop out of nowhere. Beautiful. We've got the dodge roll as well, so yeah, make use of that. Here we go. This is more like it. Didn't even realise he had the dodge roll. Get in there, bash him, bash him good. Sauna fights, it's the only true Japanese art style. And then Akimoto, who is an absolute weapon in his own right. He's just a fool. And, uh,. Pain to fight. He does a bit of damage though, which is kind of strange. 
But yeah, you want to take as the least amount of damage as possible when fighting anyone in this. So that's your end game. On to the next fight. I don't think your health recovers here, you know. It doesn't look like it's recovering on my screen, which is kind of worrying. So maybe your health doesn't recover the entire way through this gauntlet. And they don't give you the worst sort of fights. Most of them are relatively simple, but uh, yeah, you need to at least be very aggressive and very aware of how much health you've got left and what not to do, what to do, try and dodge. The heat actions are doing incredible damage, so I think their health bars are way less than they were previously. And you've got Takechi. And I don't know why I said it like that, but uh, that's what I said, and that's how it's staying. Is he the last fight? He could well be the last fight, because um, he's got so much health that it might just last a lot longer. Again, I think all these fights probably have gimmicks, but uh, the main thing to look out for is getting that hit confirmed. Because if you stagger them and then you get the full hits, that's, that's where you're doing damage. And if you can dodge their other hits when they're coming at you, that's what you want to do. And then you want to get off your, uh, your finishing moves as much as you can. I mean, I've got four bar heat here, so I should really be doing finisher, switching to another weapon, doing another finisher, switching to another weapon, doing another finisher. But I'm not. So we'll see how much this finisher does. That's a big finishing move, this one. Oh no, it's not. It's the shoot in the wall. But it still does a lot of damage, so... Maybe make use of the other styles and get as many finishes off as you can. Probably a wise move. Uh, but yeah, not too tricky, but uh, I don't think your health recovers, so you got to be pretty careful. And if it does recover, it was recovering very minutely, so... With that in mind, you need to be very careful. But yeah, if you get any comments if you've got any strats as well obviously anyone that, that comes into these videos they might want your strats or they might want an easier time and I can't provide it so if, if you can provide it feel free to and uh, yeah it would be very much appreciated for the community sort of thing um, but yeah as always if you're new to this channel or whatever this is probably the last video we're doing on this entire series but uh, if you made it this far, check out PowerPix, check out Cyric Z. Cyric Z, especially for any Yakuza games. Uh, he's done an amazing job, so big shout out to him. Uh, really useful information and stuff like that. PowerPix does really in-depth guides on uh, most of the sort of grindy aspects of the game, which you might want to take, take a look at. Which will really help you through. 100% completion. But uh, yeah, that's probably it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you watched all of the guy, thank you so much. If you watched any of the guy, thank you so much. Um, I say guide in the loosest possible terms because it's just me matching square the entire time. But uh, yeah, nah, we, we have fun. We get there. I do my best because I work a full time job, so I just don't really have time to make you know decent videos. And I probably wouldn't even if I didn't, so it is what it is. Thank you for watching. All the best. Like, subscribe, comment, usual good stuff. Peace out.